Tell us. They say Letitia Stout lied multiple times. In fact, her story changes dramatically in the two days following. They say she tried to clean up the crime scene herself, but investigators found Gannon's blood stained on the cement below his bed. On Monday, January 27th, Letitia Stauk reported Gannon missing at 6.55 p.m. In the 911 call, she had said he had gone to a friend's home and was supposed to be home by 6 p.m. Two days later, she told investigators Gannon was kidnapped, saying a man she allowed in her home to fix carpet had raped her and kidnapped Gannon. Those are two of several lies investigators say Letitia Stauk told them, the media, and Gannon's father, Al Stauk. The day Gannon disappeared, Letitia Stout called Gannon sick out of school. When Gannon's nine-year-old sister returns home from school, she asked Letitia Stout where her brother was, and she replied he was asleep in her bed and to go play outside. According to the documents, police believe Gannon was already dead. About an hour later, Letitia sends a text to her 17-year-old daughter, who was at work all day, quote, carpet powder, two things, baking soda, trash bags. Investigators believe, quote, these items were likely to clean up the murder scene. She called 911 to report Gannon missing just before 7 that night. Three hours later, deputies respond to the home and Letitia consents to a search of the home, not finding anything suspicious at that time. However, in the five searches of the home by the Metro Crime Lab in the weeks following, they found Gannon's blood in the garage, on the trunk of Letitia's car, and in his basement bedroom. There was so much blood, the documents say, it had soiled through the mattress, leaked through the carpet, and stained the cement below. Then, tracking Letitia's car, investigators found that she had driven to Highway 105 the following day at 9.15 p.m. and stayed for about 30 minutes. Then three days later, she returned in a different car that the sheriff's office had put a tracking device on. On February 15th, investigators found Gannon's blood on a particle board in that area but could not find a body. They say Letitia Stauk returning to the Highway 105 area shows, quote, Letitia disposed of Gannon's remains at nighttime and likely was nervous about the location she chose and that investigators believe, quote, she went back to the area to view the area while sunlight was available to ensure no evidence was viewable from the road. At 10.45, the night after Gannon disappeared, she texted investigators saying multiple times, quote, what do you want from me? Make sense of it. And there's no sense to be made. <sighs> like, are you okay? You know, like, I mean, I know you're not, I like, I know you're not gonna you know like this is a bad i just do you you're cool though like you or do you have somewhere to live do you have things like i don't know no you, you they, they made us all leave the house we all had to leave the house i they had they have my car they have everything i can't i couldn't go back to work i don't have my passport or my second job because you always have to have a passport or my second job at the airport i can't do anything because they have it and they think they think that that's going to break me, but none of that is going to break me because I'm innocent. And so that's where I'm trying to keep my saneness is knowing that they can take everything from me. But, but when you take something that is a person that can't be replaced, when someone comes and takes a person that can't be replaced, people cannot, cannot function like that. So take all my other things, but know that my heart is hurting. Know that I'm I might not sound like I'm, okay, this, 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 but my mentality is to always think next step. Okay, I've already gotten over who would have done this and why. And and I put that behind me. Because I've been in that mode for weeks, trying to figure out who I could punish for doing this. And, and that was just how my brain went. So now, I'm in the mode of being like, my husband crying to me yesterday. Once, how, I want my family back like it was a month ago. Five people and two dogs in her home. And that hurts. Okay. I don't know. It's just um, it's scary. It appears that way. <laughs> and they haven't said anything like that. And I can tell you that I, some of the places that like I've seen, I, I didn't even go. So if my I went to the Douglas County area because we're gonna buy a bike uh, for my husband for Valentine's Day, but I never went to some of these places that they're looking. So did you go I to the pet code so what? Did you go to that Petco that they said is like three Petcos away from your house twice that day? No, 
Marie pet because honestly, I don't. The reason we went that way was because we were going to go talk to someone about the play against sports and about the bike. So if I went to that pet, I'm sorry that they're all freaked out that it's the wrong pet. Well, they said that no. The thing is, what. the thing is, is they said that you were at the pet co, and then they said you came back. You came back two hours later and was there again, and where it was acting frantic. What they said they said you were looking out the windows because it's like glass windows or something I, I don't know the building really but they said and you kept looking out the glass windows you were at the pet coat twice and that you bought three dog coats but, but i mean think about what you just said like, i know like, i told what? people and that's what i'm saying no, i told you what i said i could say i said look well so you, i mean no not that's not the problem they're just saying that they said that they saw you there and this is what you did and i just i don't like to say that you were even at petco unless you say you were at petco because I could say I work at Petco and I saw you there and you bought five doggos. I mean, people I are... went to Petco. And do you know how they know I went to Petco? No. <laughs> well. Because I told them. <laughs> I told them to go get the camera footage at Petco. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't I... even have my phone on me. So they wouldn't even have known I was at Petco if I hadn't told them. That's why. I mean, and well... What it was is, I'm just saying it was on YouTube. There's a video by somebody on YouTube. I don't remember who it was. But then somebody commented on it and said, I work at Petco. I saw her that day. She was by herself. And she, like I said, she bought three dog cups. They were very specific about that. They're like, but then she was acting all, like acting worried and looking out the windows. And I don't know. It was just, it was just weird how they described it. But it was like, also, like I said, I could have said all that and made it all up. So I just, I don't like to assume that somebody's telling the truth when they say that stuff and you had never mentioned it. So people are like, why is she lying? Maybe you weren't lying. But when you gave the timeline about that whole day and Burger King and hiking and stuff, it was never mentioned. So that's why people look at it like a lie. And it's not really everybody's place, so. But, but here's, this is what, we have, here's where the problem. Everybody is playing, you know, the internet. And hiking, and I wouldn't even talk before they were saying that I killed someone on a hike. I mean, so, like, you have to put yourself, in my perspective, of even speaking to people at this point. Oh, yeah, no, like I said, because, you don't you don't owe everybody an, an explanation. You don't, and I get that. I get why you don't have to tell us. You, you, if you told the police, then that's fine. It's not a lie. You didn't tell us, and like I said, you don't owe us anything, and I get that. But that I just want to explain why people feel the way they did about that. They felt like, because you said that you told us this is the timeline and you didn't mention that, that's why it was like, well, no, she can say that, so it has to be a big part of the situation. And maybe it's not. Uh, yeah. I think we're Sunday, so I, I, that's why I don't understand why anybody was being confused. Because everyone thinks that they know exactly what happened, and then everyone just starts saying, well, no, that's not right. I mean, it's honestly, I've seen people, ha- you know, start at the beginning of a comment thread with one idea, and then by the end of the comment thread, they've already, you know, got 15 other pieces of evidence from other people here, and now they completely have a different idea. So people don't know what to think. And they're just trying to do anything they can, I think, to figure out or make sense of it. And there's no sense to be made. <sighs> it's just the thing. Oh. Like, are you okay? You know, like, I mean, no. I know you're not. I like, I know you're not gonna. You know, like, this is a bad. I just, do you? You're cool though. Like, you or do you have somewhere to live? Do you have things like? I don't know. No. You, you they, they made us all leave the house. We all had to leave the house. I they had they have my car. They have everything. I can't. I couldn't go back to work. I don't have my passport to work my second job because you always have to have a passport to work my second job at the airport. I can't do anything because they have it. And they think they think that that's gonna break me. But none of that is gonna break me because I'm innocent. And so that's where I'm trying to keep my saneness is knowing that. They can take everything from me, but but when you take something that is a person that can't be replaced, when someone comes and takes a person that can't be replaced, people cannot, cannot function like that. So take all my other things, but know that my heart is hurting. Know that I'm, I might not sound like I'm, okay, this, 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 but my mentality is to always think next step. Okay, I've already gotten over who would have done this and why. And, and I put that behind because I've been in that mode for weeks trying to figure out who I could punish for doing this and, and that was just how my brain so now I'm in the mode of being like my husband crying to me yesterday once I, I want my family back like it was a month ago five people and two dogs in our home and that hurts 
I think that people who have mentally or mental mental illnesses or addiction of some type of a mental illness can make bad decisions even though they know they need to make better decisions if that makes sense right. she knows that she should right. that you know that that's not right i know that that's not right but i can't say that the way that, i mean addicts, addicts think different people who are you know just any everyone thinks different but i think that makes a big influence on how people make those kind of decisions and i can't say that she's a bad mom for that she might just need help like you said you needed help with being a single mom and taking care of kids and shit that gets stressful that that can make you depressed or whatever then you know things like that happen but that can that can very well happen too when you're living with nothing when you have nothing and you don't think you're ever going to get your things back that fucks up your head too and you a lot of people just need help so I don't know. I mean, yeah, she should have made probably a better choice. She just proved my point. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Why someone who would do things, not necessarily to hurt someone, but irrational decisions to get what they needed. Because in the time of day when you feel like that, does your children, does your child make you feel better when you were in that situation? Uh, me, personally, no. Like I said, I could never imagine going to see my child and bringing them back into that situation from a safe place because I always knew my ch- if my, my kid was better off in a safe place. So I can't say that yeah. that even... Because there's like you you make bad decisions and you do get yourself in bad situations, but I can never imagine making a bad situation for my son at the moment. That's what really bothers right. me with the situation. Was like, right. why put herself in that? Why put her son through that if she never even had to? Now, if he was already there and something bad happened because she had him and you know they were in that scene, that that's definitely not good. You know that can happen. That I just, happened several times. Right, right. and I believe I believe that I believe that happens a lot with every with all kinds of families. Um, it's just, I just never could buy the fact that she would have put him in that situation from where he was already safe, you know? I just, I want the boy to be safe, well, and I don't even know him. Safe, I, and, I mean, he was safe there with you, right? Happened. So, you know, I just, I just can't see her, I can't see any mother going and doing that just to risk losing all her kids. When she still has a daughter at home, and I don't know, I just, I want him to be so safe. That's all I want. I just want him to be safe, and I want him... I want to know that he is safe, and I can only imagine that everyone that knows him personally wants that plus so much more, you know? So, I can't I can't imagine that any one of you guys actually would do this and then continue to just be like, oh yeah, you know, we don't know where he is, because, I mean, even if he was hurt and something happened, and I couldn't al- I can imagine living the rest of my life not knowing where my son is. And I just don't think that her thinking that because she was an addict, maybe that's why she doesn't know where her son was for the rest of her life. I don't think that's fair to her. I don't think it's fair to anybody. If you didn't do anything, I don't think it's fair for anybody to tell you that, you know, it's your fate could be your fault that you'll never see him again either because you did help raise him. I don't think it's fair to anyone at all if no one tells right. us where, you know. the kids in general and the other ones involved. Yeah. Right. The kids themselves are going to, this is going to, you know, completely tear them apart. Whether he comes home or not, this is going to be a family situation that you guys are going to have to try and get over together. But I just couldn't imagine as any of you not knowing where he is and I, I don't get it like I don't know how I just how the police work I guess and I don't understand the press conferences I don't know what they allow you guys to do or what but I just I would be like pleading just constantly for him I wouldn't be I, I couldn't imagine talking about like I hate I I cannot stand my my son's dad's girlfriend cannot stand her but I could never imagine if something was wrong with my son taking the time to even worry about that bitch you know I, so I just I don't know I'm sorry, I probably, I'm talking your ear off. I, just, I feel so bad because I, I have, I've passed a lot of judgment against you, I have. And I don't want to believe terrible, terrible things about anyone ever. Especially someone I don't even know and someone that I I honestly do believe. Like you said, you've been taking care of them. Nobody just willingly takes care of a kid when they don't want to and doesn't love the kid. Because trust me, I wish to God my son's dad would just do that and it's some child. I understand that you've been there for them, but I don't... I don't know what to say besides I, I don't believe that everything that's led up to this you've told the truth and it just doesn't make sense to me i think you're telling the truth now and i think you're genuine in how you are explaining this but i just i don't know i don't know where he would be that and i don't know where everything that went wrong and all these people have these crazy fucking theories dude fucking insane things that they're they coming up even, with and here's the thing they don't even have any of that like the media is going to always do that. It's, it's not even... The one thing I keep trying to reiterate they, They've to people, already proven that in and get out the car. They, the police already know that. I mean, they've how did they... have proven that through forensics. So they know that from the same video that they showed? Forensics show hot, cold, things like that. Yeah. It can show that people get out the other side. She, um, different things like that. It's not... It, it, for, if you thought for a second they thought that and I just didn't bring him home, 
Do you think they would be? They would not be following me everywhere I went to see where I took him. That's what I said. I said. I mean, I, I assume like, that she wouldn't have been able to even go home after that. I assume she would have been in a cell until they said, "All right, you're either going to tell us or you're just going to stay here forever." Because that just doesn't make sense. Why they wouldn't? <laughs> uh, but they talked to you about it. So that's the thing is like people don't understand. Like I haven't even had the opportunity to even, you know take in anything emotionally or do anything emotionally because I've had to like completely talk to FBI agents, this person, that person, yada, 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 and it's just, it's just so hard, it's difficult, and it's like, I just want, I just want the same thing you want, <laughs> you yeah. know, and you don't even know, and you're sick away or wherever yeah. you may be. Yeah, in Indiana, I, that's I what I said, I'm in Indiana, and I don't know you guys, and it's, I can, and it's it's exhausting me. I haven't slept. I I don't sleep. I constantly try and just make sure that nothing is missed because God knows what somebody random can post on the internet at any time. Honestly, I see the craziest things on here. Yeah, you know, it bothers me so much that I haven't slept, and I just, it bothers that there's people who are accused. I feel I don't I don't want to feel bad for the wrong person, but I don't want to not feel bad for the right person. So. Well, how about y'all? This is how we have to all look at it, and if we don't like all come together. Twenty some thousand people, whatever it is, and we don't say listen. From day one, they've been searching, so we haven't made an errant judgment in searching, right? I mean, you have to agree. Everybody's searching. We're not. There's no errant judgment in the searching part. But if we don't together, I don't know where your faith is. I don't know where you are. With God, believe in God, not God, but I do. And just have that faith that we have to know that we don't keep together. Twenty thousand songs are praying together and not fighting. And I think that would work. I think that would be the ultimate, like that would be the ultimate goal. Would be to everyone to just be nice and work together, and right. tell you know, to every if everybody worked together and told every you know every little piece that they put together of a real evidence. Because some people just assume that because a random person typed it on the internet, it's true. You know, if if everybody actually just talked about what is true and worked together, I feel like something has to come out of it. He he can't just be nowhere, right? <laughs> I mean, he couldn't have right. just, he couldn't have literally just vanished. He couldn't have. Wait, why, why are they digging out in the snow, though? Like, that's far. He couldn't have gone that far by himself. Okay, really. so I can't say too much about it, but I'm digging out in the snow has nothing. It's just simply because our GPS ping. If, if my GPS ping knows something, they're going to search it. They're going to they're gonna do everything they can to search every area that I was in for a week. Yeah. So I mean, so that doesn't, they don't think that they're looking for a body out there. They haven't said that. They haven't said, you know, like, they haven't really said, like, oh, we know he's out here and we're going to go dig him up or anything. And he's like, I obviously No, feel. they haven't said that. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's just um, it's scary. It appears that way. <laughs> yeah, they haven't said anything like that. And I can tell you that some of the places that, like, I've seen, I didn't even go. So if my, I went to the Douglas County area because they're going to buy a bike. Uh, for my husband for Valentine's Day, but I never went to some of these places that they're looking. So did you go I to the Petco cautionary. Time? So what? Did you go to that Petco that they said is like three Petcos away from your house twice that day? Three Petcos. Honestly, I don't. The reason we went that way was because we were going to go talk to someone about the play against sports and about the bike. So if I went to that Petco, I'm sorry that they're all freaked out that it's the wrong Petco. Well, they said they, no, the thing, is, what. the thing is, is they said that you were at this Petco, and then they said you came back, you came back two hours later and was there again, and were at, was acting frantic. So what they said, they said you were looking out the windows because it's like glass windows or something. I, I don't know the building really, but they said you kept looking out the glass windows. You were at the Petco twice, and that you bought three dog coats. But, but, I mean, think about what you just said. Like, I know. Like, I told people, and that's what I'm saying. So I told people, I said, I could say, I said, look, well, so, you, I mean, no, not that's not the problem. They're just saying that they said that they saw you there and this is what you did. And I just, I don't like to say that you were even at Petco unless you say you were at Petco. Because I could say I work at Petco and I saw you there and you bought five doggos. I mean, people I are, went to Petco. And do you know how they know I went to Petco? No. <laughs> well, because I told them. <laughs> I told them to go get the camera footage at Petco. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't I, even have my phone on me, so they wouldn't even have known I was at Petco if I hadn't told them. That's wild. I mean, and, well, 
what it was is I'm gonna say it was on YouTube. There's a video by somebody on YouTube. I don't remember who it was, but then somebody commented on it and said, "I work at Petco. I saw her that day. She was by herself, and she like I said, she bought three dog cuts. They were very specific about that. They're like, but then she was acting all like acting worried and looking out the windows, and I don't know. It was just it was just weird how they described it, but it was like, also, like I said, I could have said all that and made it all up. So I just, I don't like to assume that somebody's telling the truth when they say that stuff and you had never mentioned it. So people are like, why is she lying? Maybe you weren't lying. But when you gave the timeline about that whole day and Burger King and hiking and stuff, it was never mentioned. So that's why people look at it like a lie. And it's not really everybody's place. So. But, but see, here's, this, this is what, we have two for the pop. Everybody is playing. You know this internet and hiking and like, I mean, they even I wouldn't even talk to them before they were saying that I killed someone on a hike. I mean, so like you have to put yourself in my perspective or even speaking to people at this point. Oh yeah, no, like I said, because you don't you don't owe everybody an, an explanation. You don't, and I get that. I get why you don't have to tell us. You, you if you told the police, then that's fine. It's not a lie. You didn't tell us, and like I said, you don't owe us anything, and I get that. But that, I just want to explain why people feel the way they did about that. They felt like, because you said that you told us this is the timeline and you didn't mention that, that's why it was like, well, no, she can say that, so it has to be a big part of the situation. And maybe it's not. Uh, you know, I think it was Sunday, so I, I definitely don't understand why anybody was being confused. Because everyone thinks that they know exactly what happened, and then everyone just starts saying, well, no, that's not right. I mean, it's honestly, I've seen people... Have, you know, start at the beginning of a comment thread with one idea, and then by the end of the comment thread, they've already, you know, got 15 other pieces of evidence from other people here, and now they completely have a different idea. So people don't know what to think, and they're just trying to do anything.